Hello there, I'm Jimmy Vegas and this is how to create a Grand Theft Auto style game in Unity and welcome to episode 51. In this tutorial we're going to carry on exactly where we left off last time and we're going to implement the ability to physically see what trophies we have unlocked in our game. Don't forget, click the subscribe button and click on the bell icon as well to stay up to date with every tutorial still to come in this series and everything else on game development on my channel. With that in mind, let's get to work. So. The trophies now unlock and we have already unlocked them. Uh, I will get round to different ways that you can unlock, tro uh, I say unlock trophies, reset those unlocks and we will do that just to double check we can cycle through everything once again. Uh, but for now all we need to focus on is getting those trophies displaying in the correct menu. So let's go to our scenes and let's go to trophies. Double click canvas so we can see it. And currently as it stands, the three trophies that we have are uh, locked and this one here is not right because we didn't change it. Um, I think it was Car Enthusiast, if I can spell it right, uh, yeah, Car Enthusiast, that was it. And the description, I can't remember what the description was, let me quickly head back to the open world and I'm going to copy the description I had. Uh, it's probably best to do that so as it actually looks sensible. Uh, description, yeah, so we'll copy that, head back to trophies and place it in the correct spot. Okay, so how do we make it so as these are actually unlocked images? Because if we click on unlocked we can see, there we go, that's what it would look like. So we need to make another script and this is for the trophy loader. So let's head into our scripts folder, uh, if I can find it, UI, and we'll have this as a C sharp script. And we'll call this trophy loader. And you probably guessed it by now, it's a very simple script. All it's going to do is just load in an image when it's unlocked. So for example, we've started the game, we've unlocked that first trophy, and we need it to display within our trophy loader as well as an actual count. So we need this number to update as well. So let's start by saying public game object and we'll have trophy unlock 01 semicolon as well as public game object trophy unlock zero two obviously the more trophies you have the more you should have in there so let's get rid of the annotations so in void start we're going to need to come up with a way of basically same thing we do trophy manager recognizing that a trophy is unlocked so we're going to add a couple of variables there so public um, int and you could use this as an array if you wanted to um, at this point because I'm only doing so few trophies there's no real point uh, so public int unlocked 0, 01 and public int unlocked 0, 02. So that means void start is saying unlocked 0, 01 equals player prefs dot get int and in brackets and quotes the name. So what I'm going to do is copy it from there which is the trophy manager script and paste it there with a semicolon copy that line of code and just change it to reference trophy number two so when it starts now unlocked one and two should become a value of two so that means that if unlocked zero one equals two then that means trophy unlock zero one dot set active true that means the actual image is going to appear now it does also mean that we are going to have to add one to our trophy count which we'll get around to in just a second we're going to use the same if statement and we're going to change that to two and two and let's save that for now and let's just make sure it does work as intended so when that's compiled we need to add trophy loader to our trophy control and then we just need to add those two variables so trophy one is going to be the unlock image 
Trophy 2 is also going to be the unlock image. Let's save. And now when we press play, this should remain as zero because we've not altered it yet, but these two images should change from the trophy icon to the actual icon. Excellent. So that's now saying that those two trophies are indeed unlocked. So now let's update this up here. And the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to do it slightly differently than the way we currently have it set up. I'm actually going to have the trophy count separate from the trophy max. So we'll call that trophy max and that's going to be slash 15 and the trophy count is just going to be zero. So let's bring trophy max up to there and let's bring it to about there and that should be about there. So we just need to make sure the formatting and placement of each object is correct because if it's not, it's going to look a bit strange. So just make sure if we had 10, that looks fine. So zero. And now let's create the code which updates this. So firstly, we need to add two more variables. First one is going to be the actual number itself, so i.e. two. And the other is going to be the object which gets updated. Because we're doing that, we're going to need to add in at the top using unity engine.ui with a semicolon. And the variable is going to be public int trophy count. And we're going to have public game object trophy display, which reminds me. I think I'm going to go back into Unity and change that trophy count to say trophy display because I don't want to have some kind of naming convention mismatch here. So they are going to be named the same. So um, hopefully you can understand what's going to happen here. Um, every time we set a trophy as active, we're going to add one to our trophy count. So trophy count plus equals one. And then we'll do the same for trophy number two. And finally, after all is said and done, so you got more trophies if you want them, you know, or you can update them as you go through development. Uh, we just need to say trophy display dot get component in spiky brackets text open close bracket dot text equals double quote plus trophy count semicolon, save. Now let's head back into Unity. Let it compile. And on trophy control, we just need to add in the trophy display variable right there. So now when we press play, we should see this change to two because we have the two trophies unlocked. Awesome. So now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to briefly reset both of these trophies and unlock them again so we can see everything in action. And a quick and easy way of doing that is you can create uh, different sections, you know, different scripts to do it. Um, this isn't the most efficient way at all to do it and probably you shouldn't do it, but I'm doing it now to kind of illustrate this is how we can see all the trophy things unlocking. So all I've done with these two lines of code is just say that we're setting the integer to zero. And then I'm going to press play. And by the time the scene has loaded, we've reset those two trophies. And although they display here, we've now reset them because of these two lines of code. So now let's delete those two lines, resave, head back into Unity once again. And now if we press play, we should see they are not unlocked. So let's try out this sequence now. Um, let's go to our main menu. Uh, scenes, main menu. Yes, we want to save. Uh, let's press play. Our buttons are disappeared. Brilliant. Thanks for that, Unity. That's it's a nice little bug you've got there. Okay, so let's um, let's go to trophies. And yep, we don't have any, so let's go back to our menu. Now let's load our game, because we're gonna be loaded into the world, aren't we? 
and then let's check out the first trophy being unlocked then once that's done let's go and make sure that it has indeed unlocked and just says one in our trophies menu and it should lock any second now excellent so there's our trophy unlocked we know we can't unlock that again because we've tested it so let's go to our main menu press play let's go to trophies and there we go one and we just have that one unlocked so now finally let's test the car trophy and fingers crossed this should unlock and obviously if you've got more trophies than this you know you, you might want to add a trophy for picking up a weapon or killing an npc or anything like that you can use the same logic via scripting to modify a value inside that um, trophy manager and that's basically how you do it no matter what so if we get into this vehicle there we are there is our vehicle unlocked so now finally let's head to our trophies and see it unlocked in there perfect so we'll come up with some other idea for this trophy at some point um yeah I'll, I'll try and come up with some cool ideas at least anyway um so yeah next tutorial what we're going to do is i'm thinking we're gonna maybe cover a a nice credit scene so get some scrolling credits and i know i mentioned it a long time ago a splash screen but i just felt it was worth pushing that back a little bit so we're gonna do the credit scene i want a splash screen and link everything together and once we've got that done we can start moving on with some good development you know like um, some ai vehicles or something so until that next tutorial thanks very much for watching guys